this video we will demonstrate how to set up and use your gift certificate feature. Be sure that you have gone to Administration and Vendor Admin and enabled your gift certificates. Once you have done this, the gift certificate option will appear here under your Administration menu. You can then go to Gift Certificate Admin. On this page, you can view and modify or delete a pre-existing gift certificate, add a new gift certificate, or search through your purchased gift certificates. In this example, we will modify a pre-existing gift certificate. The gift certificate name is the name that will appear for your clients, such as the service or dollar amount being offered. The total available gift certificate allows you to put a limit on how many you will sell. If you do not have a limit, just put a very high number. The validity start and end dates are the dates that you will begin and stop selling this particular gift certificate. Next, you can select a specific service or dollar amount for this gift certificate. In this example, we have selected the 30-minute massage. Next, you must select how you are going to collect payment for this gift certificate. Collected with Purchase allows you to collect a credit card number that you will manually process yourself. Once you update the calendar that the payment has been processed, the gift certificate will be emailed. You can require your clients to pay for the gift certificate online with PayPal. Once the payment has been processed, the gift certificate will automatically be emailed. You can also give your client the option to pay with PayPal or to leave a credit card number. Be sure to enter your PayPal account email address in this field if you are going to require PayPal payments. You can have the gift certificate sent automatically through the calendar by email, or you can send a gift certificate yourself by mail, or the gift certificate can be sent both by email and by mail. You can insert an image here for the gift certificate by selecting Browse and selecting an image from your computer. Next, you must decide who can view and purchase the gift certificates, yourself only, yourself and your agents, yourself, agents and customers, or you can disable this gift certificate at any time. You can also include notes for any recipients in this field. Be sure to select Save to save any changes. Now that you have created a gift certificate, it would be good to know how to purchase one. So go to Administration, Gift Certificate, and Buy Gift Certificate. This section looks very similar as it will for your customer, except they will have a gift certificate link along the top of the screen. You will select the gift certificate that is going to be purchased. You are going to select the customer who is purchasing the gift certificate, You, as the vendor, get to skip the billing information. Your client will have to fill this information in if you are collecting credit card information with the purchase. The receiver note allows you to include details such as Happy Birthday or Happy Mother's Day. You will then include the information of who the gift certificate is for. You are only required to enter the first name, last name, and email address. As the vendor, you can also select a payment method from this page. By doing so, the gift certificate will automatically be emailed to the buyer and receiver. If you leave this as unpaid, you will have to go back and mark it as paid later so that the gift certificate can be sent. Now that the gift certificate has been purchased, we will show you how to redeem a gift certificate. This is also very similar for your client. You can return to the calendar screen, select the schedule that you'd like to book with, and you're going to select the service for which you have a gift certificate, in this example, the 30-minute massage. Select the time that the client wants to book. If this was the client, this information would be pre-filled in. In this example, you will have to select the customer who has the gift certificate. You will then go and select the gift certificate number and put it in this field, and select Book. The gift certificate has now been used. To view all purchased and used gift certificates, you will return to Administration, Gift Certificate, and Gift Certificate Admin. You can use any of these parameters to narrow down your search, or just select Search to view all. You can now see that there are four gift certificates, three unused and one used. You can change the status of a gift certificate at any time by going into Edit. Here, you can select if it's been used, who the buyer was, change the receiver note, change a payment method, and resend the gift certificate.